Hi friends, it's Miss Tracy from Smith County Public Library. Only I'm not at the library. I am outside as you can see, and I'm in my parents' backyard. They're my neighbors um, because they have a lot of birds. It's a bird's paradise. My dad has bird feeders and bird houses and bird baths, and there's birds in the book I'm gonna read you. And uh, so I just thought you could hear the birds while I'm reading to you. This book is so gorgeous, my friends. It's called If You Plant a Seed, and I don't know that I've ever seen better illustrations. It's words and pictures are by the very talented Kadir Nelson, and it's published by HarperCollins. It's a great, great book. A message for all of us, and it's beautiful. So first, let's ring the bell, gather around for story time, and then we clap our hands together like this, so there's no more talking, and then you click them forward like so. Then you open and close them like a book. Read, read, read a book, travel anywhere. Worldwide, you decide a book can take you there. Okay, our rich taking us to a garden today. And so I'm outside and hopefully you can see some pretty birds behind me. I can't guarantee they'll show up, but they might. Um, this book is torn. I need to repair it, but just so you know, it is well loved. It checks out all the time as well it should. So here in the opening page, we have a gorgeous bunny rabbit and a little mouse, and they are planting a seed. So the first title there is, if you plant a tomato seed, a carrot seed, and a cabbage seed, in time, they're reading while they wait, and it's raining, and then things are good, with love and care, tomato, carrot, and cabbage plants will grow. Look at them celebrating, aren't they so cute? <laughs> oh, and they're feasting and they're enjoying it because the, the feast of that harvest is wonderful. Oh, and there's some birds flying by. Remember I told you there'd be birds. I forgot there's also wind chimes here. Um, oh, and here's the birds. Hmm, there's no words on this page except for the stamp that says it comes from the library. You can see there's kind of a standoff though. Um, the birds are staring at the at the goodies and the rabbit and the mouse are probably thinking hey back off We planted these these are ours But here's what happens next. Oh first of all look look at this. I'm telling you these illustrations are so beautiful You can almost see what those birds are thinking their little bird brains If you plant a seed of selfishness in a very short time it will grow and grow and grow. And that does not look like a peaceful scene, does it, friends? No, that's what happens when you plant selfishness. Oh, it'll grow and grow and grow into a heap of trouble. Look at there, everything's destroyed, nobody's happy. That's what you get from selfishness. But if you plant a seed of kindness, look, sharing of the tomato. Now this is after they've done the selfishness. See, they're covered in tomato gunk. That was a squirrel. They have squirrel feeders here too. In almost no time at all, the fruits of kindness. See, now they're sowing all these seeds will grow, they're working together, and grow, and grow in the sunshine and in the rain, and grow. Look how beautiful that garden is now. And they are very, very sweet. These are the seeds of kindness, and look at all the different animals sharing. So there's the birds and the rabbit. I don't really see the mouse. Oh, the mouse is probably over here. There's a squirrel. You may see one behind me now. And a chipmunk, and there's the mouse, and some little ducks. And look at that raccoon. Isn't he beautiful? And, and, a, and, a, and a hen, I mean, not a hen, a rooster, and a duck, and there's a whole big bunch. Now, everybody can come to the party when you plant seeds of kindness. So whatever you do, wherever you go today, please plant seeds of kindness and share. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.